tonight, Lord Jesus. We adore you tonight, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in your precious name, Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Bless everyone that's here today, Lord. Bless everyone that's here today, Lord God. Bless those that had a desire to be here and couldn't make it. Bless them the very same, Lord. Oh, Shanda, na na go go shata. He king he king he mono sete. He king he mono shanda na na kurobo shata. Bless Mother Rita right now. Ha da kurobo si. In the name of Jesus, Mother Rita, right now in the name of Jesus. Ha na na John John right now in the name of Jesus. Elena right now in the name of Jesus. Jonathan right now in the name of Jesus. Malcolm right now in the name of Jesus. Ha da da go sete to Rita right now in the name of Jesus. Ha da da ke da ke da go go shanda. He can he can go to the Lord Shata and the stage right now in the name of Jesus. Tatiana, right now in the name of Jesus. How do they can go Shata? Fantasia, right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Shata. He can he can go Shata. He can he can go Shata. Oh, my son, come on, go to the city. Oh, Sierra, right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Ricky, right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Kion, right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Bless our children today, Lord God. I may not can name them all, Lord God, but you know them by name, Lord God. You know them one by one, Lord God. You bless, Lord. Hakolo Shata. You bless, Lord. Hakolo Shata. You deliver, Lord, right now. You deliver to Hakolo Shata. You Hakolo Shata. You Kini Kolo Shata. You Kolo Shaya. Oh, you do it, Jesus. You save, Lord. Save, Lord. Draw them by your spirit, God. Draw them by your spirit, Lord, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for being a healer, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for being a healer, Lord God. Touch our bodies right now, Lord God. Heal us, Lord. Healing power, Lord. Manifest your healing power, Lord. Honda, Lord, Kurosha, Manifest your healing power, Lord. Through our bodies, Lord. Through our bodies, Lord. You know the conditions, Lord. Manifest your healing power, Manifest your healing power, Jesus. Mm. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for being our protector, Lord. Thank you for being our deliverer, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being our keeper, Lord. Most of all, thank you for being our savior. Thank you for being our savior. Thank you for being our savior. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our Savior. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, as you begin to get in the fray, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Give him glory. Be in the magnifier. Come on. Exalt him. Come on. Everybody's presence. Come on, Lord. I thank you. I ain't tired. Tired. I let the devil know I'm coming to say thank you
says, Father, we just welcome you. We welcome you in this room, Father. Come and just have your way, God. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. We say yes to your way. By the house of living prayer. The house of prayer. Come on, praise and praise the Lord. The soul of us, Lord. The soul of us is yes, Lord. The Holy Ghost is yes, Lord. The Holy Ghost is yes, Lord. Yes, we are your God. Yes, we are your God. I give you my will. I give you my way, God. Here I am tonight, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You call it out of your son out of my heart. You call it out of your soul. Come on, all those mighty women. Huh? All those mighty women. Huh? Come on, wave. Huh? Come on, give them a God. Huh? Come on, make them feel known. Huh? Come on, with all your might. Huh? Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, Lord. Huh? The Holy Ghost says, Yes, Lord. Huh? The Holy Ghost says, Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, Lord. 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 Lord, we say yes to your will. We say yes to your way, God. We bow to you. Bow to you. Bring your will. Be done, God. Come on, give us a will. Come on, yes, Lord. Lord, we want the glory of God. We want the glory of God. We want your wisdom. We want your glory. We want it for us. It's your way, God. It's your way, God. Hey. Come on, cast every step away. Every step aside. Come on, every weight be lifted. Every weight be lifted. Every weight be lifted. In the name of Jesus. Every weight be lifted. Every weight be lifted. Every weight be lifted. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on, the God say yes, Lord. Come on, open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Yes to your will. I can't even rely. I can't even rely. Yes, Lord. The word says yes, Lord. The Holy Ghost says yes, Lord. Come on, say yes, Lord. Come on, say yes, Lord. Out of your belly, out of your belly. Out of your way. Come on, come on, press. Come on, press. Come on, press. I don't feel like I want to pray, but come on, press. Come on, press in the spirit. All I feel is like, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord. Come on, I say, yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord. I got it, I got it, but I say, yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord. Come on, press in the miracle. 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 I need a human. 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 I need a human.
There's none else holy, none else righteous, none else worthy, but you, Lord, we come today and give you what you deserve. We present our bodies, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. Hallelujah. It's a reasonable service. It's the least. It's the your worship. It's the base. It's the your worship, baby. Worship it. Hallelujah. So we present ourselves. Do you see the worship? Are you just seeing it in worship? But he is sorry. The words of our mouths. Look at somebody say, Amen. The meditations of our hearts are acceptable. He deserves it.
in this place. You come out of the silence. You come out here and do the same thing we always do. So come on, open up your mouth and touch his name. Father God, glorify you. May you have the final word with me. Let the prayer of my heart exalt his name together. Oh, you are God. You are holy. You are righteous. And I declare at this moment, Lord, I won't give your praise to anything or anybody else. Nobody else deserves it but you, God. Nobody else deserves the praise but you. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. You're so worthy. You are so worthy. You're so worthy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. You are whole. Belongs to you. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. And then the next part, just see what it says. Just see what it says. You deserve it. Come on, sing it once. You deserve it. You deserve it.
Some of the things you need to break in your life won't break because all of your hallelujahs don't belong to him yet. He healed Judah. He delivered Judah. 
to God, who's the head of my life, to my pastor, Pastor Santangelo Wilson, and to the speaker of the hour, Apostle Marie Carrier, God bless you, and to all those that are found in the house of the Lord. I just want to thank God for being here, and I want you to feel welcome. Hallelujah. I'm sure you felt the presence of God when you walked in this place. Hallelujah. Feel free to dance. Feel free to clap your hands. Hallelujah. Feel free to give God the glory. On top of it all, be free to give God the glory in Jesus' name. And I just want to welcome you on behalf of the pastor and New Beginnings Ministry. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. So you're welcome to a place of new beginnings. Can we have a response to that welcome quickly? Quickly, just anybody can just stand up and give us a response to that welcome.
Amen. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Come on, let's salute the woman of God. Let's stand and give God praise for the woman of God tonight. Come on, say God bless. God bless. The woman of God. Come on, stretch your hands. Say, Lord of God, I decree and declare there's a miracle in your mouth. Come on, one more time. Say, I decree and declare there's a miracle in your mouth. Amen. You can be seated at this time. And we're moving swiftly. I just want to take this time before I know that God's going to move because there's somebody that came with excitement. And I believe that exciting, excitement, when you're excited and you have excitement, is the breathing ground for a miracle. Today, so excuse my excitement, but I'm believing God when I leave here, my leg will be swollen. Oh, I'm believing God when I leave here, something will be given me. Come on, clap on the devil if you got anything. Oh, I'm sorry, mother. Oh, so now I'm going to hold But someone's going to do something this week. Uh, it's going to be the revival on the top of the page. Woo! Somebody say, Lord, I know you're going to do it. Come on, say, Lord. I'm so shocked. I'm going to hold Have anybody been through something this week? Can you get God to turn it up? I'm so sure I need God to do it. I need him to do it now. Not by might, but by power. Do it in your spirit tonight. This is the hour that I need to do. to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. And so we're going to go on and turn out to the speaker. Glory to God. But I want to invite each and every one of you this entire week, this entire week, starting on Sunday night, we will be here for the Holy Week Revival. And they say three years ago when I started the revival, you crazy to think people gonna come to revival every day of the week. And the Holy Ghost in California, my pastor would do revival 27 years in California. And people came, he said the first 10 years, mother, it didn't look like it's profitable. But as he began to continue doing it for now almost 30 years, the church cannot feel the people that come to this revival. And so I believe God that Holy Week revival, souls are going to be saved in Ville Platte. I'm sorry. In Ville Platte. So he sent me back to Ville Platte to have week long revival in Ville Platte. How do you rotate are you? How crazy are you for a miracle? How crazy to see the hand of God? So join me this entire week to see a crazy man have revival during a holy week because they told me in holy week that I was had the audacity to believe about the power of his resurrection, the power of his death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And since the minute there's some people in real past, I want to see them every day come back to be resurrected by the power of the Holy and so our first speaker of Holy Week will be on Sunday night. Smash on Sunday night. Bishop Frank will be here with us on Sunday night. Amen. So you're not doing anything. Come and help us build up the name of Jesus. Somebody say in Bill Platt. Amen. Come on, give God one more praise. 
Hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, have your way. Come on, somebody shout, Lord, have your way. Pastor Kenny, are we going to ask one of the ladies to come introduce you? This time. Come on, let's give her a God bless you as she comes. Come on, give her a God bless you as she comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. What time is it? What time is it? Amen. And we bring you our apostle to light the fire and set it off. Apostle Marie Carrier, Eternity Full Gospel Fellowship Church, Westlake, Louisiana. And I believe that's all needs to be said. Somebody say, light the fire. Light the fire. Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Put your hands together. I'm going to bless them all over the house. Well, come on and glorify him. And the spirit of the Lord is in this place. And your praise is to the King of glory. And your praise is to the I am that I am. We worship him in the beauty of holiness. We thank the Lord who is God Almighty. We worship the Prince of Peace. We give praises to the Lord who never ceased to be God. We come on and give him a praise. We thank him for what he had already done. We thank him for what he's going to do. Father, we worship you in the beauty of holiness. Oh, Lord God, we thank you tonight. But God, there is nothing like you. Oh, I shut that on over sea. Father, we thank you right now. And we call the spirit of revival. Oh, God, revival comes to repair. Revival comes to restore. Revival comes to make alive. Revival come on down. We call for the spirit of revival in this place tonight. God, somebody here with high hopes and expectations. I shut a robo. He was shut a render of robo. He come the robo shit and run the robo. Come on and shun glory. Come on and shun glory. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated in his presence. We praise and magnify God once again to be in the house of worship. Amen. Do you have some lights other than these lights here? Can you just light up the whole room? Glory be to God. That's okay. Ha Shatarobosia. We just praise God tonight. Amen. If you just move this right here for me, glory be to God. Amen. I'll be all right in just a minute. Now, just move this right here. That's so that my, I'm not blinded. Amen. Because the light kind of just blind my eyes. Reflect against my glasses. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're so grateful. We give God honor for Amen. Pastor Wilson, tonight, thank God for the family of God in this house. Praise God tonight for the pastors that are here. Amen. Bible ministry apostle, prophet evangelist, pastors, and teachers. Amen. We honor the Lord for the invite to be found in the house of worship. When the Lord can use you to do a work for him, we worship him for being able to be used by him. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's a word tonight out of the book of St. Mark. A word that I, amen, that I enjoy worship, worshiping the Lord and preaching this word because of the revelation that God has given us for this time and even for this word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come down to the book of St. Mark. Amen. The fifth chapter, looking at verse 25. Because I want to talk about this woman tonight who had an issue. Because the world got an issue. Come on, whole families got issues. Individuals got issues. Everywhere you turn, there is an issue. And God is getting ready to deal with the issues in our lives. Come on. Then here the Bible talks about a certain woman. The Bible said, amen. The Bible said a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. First of all, an issue is an unresolved matter. When you look at the word issue, 
It talks about having an unresolved matter. Is it anybody in here that got something that's unresolved? This thing is here and somebody needs to solve it. Somebody needs to do something with the issue that's in my life. Come on. And that's what the issue, this word issue is, unresolved. In other words, it's never been tend to. It's still hanging around. And the Bible said, amen, that this issue was with, amen, the blood. The Bible said in the book of Leviticus 17 and 11, for the life of the flesh is in the blood, amen. So in other words, this woman was having a life issue. Come on here. She wasn't just having a blood issue, but she had a flow. She had a life issue because life is in the blood. Come on. And her blood, her life was having some issues of life and some unresolved matters. Is there anybody in here tonight that say, my life has some unresolved matters? I got some situations with my life that I just don't understand. Sometimes we don't understand what a man is going on. Somebody calls it generational curses. Why? Because a man, what comes from the loins of my father and from the womb of my mother seem to sometimes make way in our lives. And because those things make way in our life, sometimes we got a flow of issues. Sometimes we got a flow of problems that we are faced with in our lives. Sometimes we come here, my God, with a history before we were ever born. How many of you know you got a history for I ever came in the world because you got daddy issues i got mama issues i got mama problems that she had when she was a child i got daddy issues that he had when he was a child and now that i've been given born i've been given to my father out of his lawns and to my mother out of her womb he had come with a life issue well somebody clap your hand and shout i got an issue but there's a healing for an issue. There's a deliverance for an issue. We see here tonight in the world got an issue. We see here tonight from the White House to your house, there's an issue. We see here from the schoolhouse to the jailhouse, there's an issue. But let somebody tell somebody that God is getting ready to take care of an issue. Let somebody clap your hand and shout glory. The Bible said for 12 years, this woman was dealing with an issue. The number 12, the number 12 represents government. And the government of her life, the oil of her life, everything about her life was under an attack. Sometimes your life is under attack. Sometimes your life seems to be a repeated cycle. I'm trying to figure out why do I always go through the same things. I'm trying to figure out why is it that my life go through these changes look like I think the same kind of man. I divorced three times and still making the same mistakes. Trying to figure out what's the matter with me. Look like I still got the same financial issues. Could have had money but still I broke. I got issues that I really just don't understand. But I want somebody to know that issues is an unresolved matter. I haven't resolved the matter of my financial situation. But going through issues with my family. We've been having these issues for a long time. Sally won't talk to Sue and Sue won't talk to James. Well, it's time for the issues to get on the dance room. God been the move over an issue. I feel like an issue is about to come to an end. I feel like a miracle is in somebody's issue. Somebody clap your hand and give God a shout. Somebody praise him for what he's getting ready to do. My God, for 12 years, she dealing with the problem. Can you count how many years you've been dealing with this same foolishness? 12 years, I've been having to deal with somebody having issues with me. 12 years, I've been dealing with marital issues. 12 years, I've been dealing with children issues. 12 years, I've been dealing with employment issues. 12 years, I've been dealing with physical issues. 12 years, I've been dealing with mental issues. 12 years, I've been dealing with 
Holy Ghost, I'm a love you. I've been dealing with my issues. But to God be the glory. Be the glory. It's a time for everything. It's a time to cry. It's a time to laugh. It's a time to mourn. It's a time to dance. It's a time to be born. And it's a time to die. Somebody clap your hands and shout my time. It's coming. I feel my hip coming. I feel my Jesus walking all over me. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost just shaking the mountain. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. When I came in here, and I need to tell somebody that my issue is in God's hand. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. My, 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 my. Twelve years with this issue. The Bible said. My God, and had suffered many things. My God, the Bible said, she suffered many things. You know, when there's some unresolved matters in your life, it causes you to suffer many things. It causes you to suffer depression. It causes you to suffer fear. It causes you to suffer insecurity. Because that issue that you got, that problem you got, when you'd have been hurt, when there's an issue in your life, somebody hurt you when your marriage has failed. I got an issue. Now I have a lot of insecurities. Now I'm afraid of love. I'm afraid of a lot of things. And so it calls them to suffer from many things. What are you suffering from tonight? Come on here. Been adopted. I'm suffering. Come on here. From the seat of rejection. And that thing is in me. I'm dealing with rejection. I'm dealing with all of these different pains and all of these different issues in my life. Unresolved matters. Don't know where my daddy is. Don't know who he is. I'm dealing with this unresolved matter. Where is daddy? Why did mama keep me? What was wrong with me? Baby, there's issues in here tonight. There's issues. Come on, Jesus. Issues, issues, issues. She had more than just the blood flow for 12 years. Yeah. And she had a cycle for 12 years and it killed her. So it had to be something deeper in the revelation of the story. It had to be something deep in the, amen, yet look between the lines and see the revelation of it. Because she had a life issue. She had issues, amen. She had unresolved matters with her life. Something was wrong. She had spent all her money. The Bible declared, my God, and has spent. Amen. Went to all these physicians. Many things of many physicians. And went to many doctors to help them. Whether they were psychologists. Whether they were um, physical, uh, 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 physical doctors that dealt with the physical body. She went to many doctors. Trying to get her some help. Can you see you in the story? Trying to get you some help. Till we meet Dr. Jesus. Till we met the great physician of the physicians. We had all these issues, all these problems in our lives. Come on. She had many positions and many, many places. Trying to find out what's the matter with me. What's the matter with my life? What's the matter with my... I see my emotions was messed up. Come on here. She had all heart issues now. It was the matters of her heart. It was all to up. Everything about this woman was chaotic. I'm chaotic for 12 years of my life. I'm messed up and I don't know what to do with myself. People that's on drugs got an issue. They got an issue. They got an issue that's deeper than the drugs. They're using the drugs to medicate the symptom. But there's an issue underneath there. The alcoholic got an issue. Come on here. Children growing up in homes. We grew up in homes as little boys and little girls. And we became, my God, a product of our own kind. Come on. Born in situations and circumstances throughout our lives, wondering what happened. Mama was abused. Daddy going out in the world. Got more than one wife. Got no more than one family. We got issues. Come on. A lot of infidelity. We grew up seeing the infidelity in the families and different things. We thought it was all right until we became adults. And now that we grown, the strong man get, took every four or five thing that we ever had happen in our life. Took every 
uh, issue that we ever had, every trauma that ever we ever been through, and made it a fortified place for him. Yeah. Made it a place for him to keep us a prisoner. Yeah. Made it a place to make us, my God, miserable in our lives. Yeah. And now we're walking around with issues. Yeah. Walking around hating daddy. Man as a dog. Everybody angry because yeah. that's issues. Yeah. Yeah. Children are more angry than they ever been before. Yeah. Out of all the love they've been shown. They're angry because we had three different daddies. Five different daddies in the household. One daddy might have gave love. While other daddies didn't even show up. And now babies are born with issues. Yeah. Come on here. And now children know, amen, man, they going out with guns and shoot the world down because they angry. And no, nobody know what to do with an angry mom and children. Nobody know what to do with the circumstances and the situation. Un unknowing that the child has unresolved issues. Unresolved issues with mama. Mama, where my daddy? Mama, why you don't love me? Why do children feel so in love out of all the love we give it? But ain't nobody feeling loved no more. Because we got unresolved issues in the life of people. And God wants to do something. God wants to heal. God wants to give them a miracle. God wants to turn them around. God wants to save them from the issue. And they've been going through that grown men. Can't be good husbands to wives because they got issues. Got an issue. Mad at mama. The boys can't be good. And my God with their wives because they're mad at mamas. And, but girls can't be good to their man because they're mad at their dad. And so now we got a life full of issues. We got a lot of unresolved matters. And ain't nobody want to talk about it. Everybody want to keep everything silent and covered up. And now because there is no word spoken. And can't nobody resolve the matter. Then everything is chaotic and crazy. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, Jesus. It's revival time. Revival is when you attack the devil where he attacked the you. So the Lord can restore. So the Lord can repair. So the Lord can make it happen again. So the Lord can bring us out. Because we need to be born out tonight. Come on. God said, I'm going to bring you out. I want to I want to bring you out. Three, uh, three mile radius. The spirit is already moving. The angels is already in the city. Come on. The Bible is already hoovering over the city. That's a change for Peter Black. That's a change for my mood. That's a change for Appaloosa. That's a change for Lee Chuck. That's a change for our nation. That's a change for our country. That's a change that's coming. Come on. And the only one can bring the change is the Lord. But we got to seek him out. This woman issue was so bad. She had to spend all her money. How many of you know that it had? Money can't answer everything. It can't answer all things, but it can't answer everything. Because sometimes you need some money can't buy. Sometimes you need something that money can't answer. Money make it all right for the, for the moment. Come on. Because if we can do all of that, amen. Why do people have it and still commit suicide? Got all that money, but still kill themselves. They kill themselves because with the money I got, I still got an unresolved issue. I got a matter that can't nobody fix for me. Come on here tonight. My God, my God. Jesus. My, my, my miracle comes from the truth. The Bible said the truth will make us free. Come on here. It's time out for playing games now. Because the people ain't playing no more. Children ain't playing no more. You better have something to take a gunman and talk him down. Come on. They got issues. We got unresolved matters when you walk in the classroom and shoot little bit of children. We got unresolved matters when you walk in the church and don't mind shooting no amen anybody in your sight. You don't mind getting killed because your issue, your unresolved matters are so deep seated. And for so long you've been trying to find your help and you have not found the help. And for that cause now, my God, you have that, that anger done turned to malice and that malice done turned to a rage. Now the world is raging over unresolved matters. Bible said that this woman, she had and took all she had. She was broke now. She done spent all her money. She ain't got no more. It's a funny thing how God got to bankrupt us before we really find God. Sometimes he bankrupts us of everything. He bankrupts us of love. He bankrupts us of peace. You ain't got no peace. And when because we got no peace, we go looking for God. Amen. We got no love. I never knew love until I met the Lord. My peace I give unto.
to you. The world did not give. Come on. And the world cannot take it away. I give you peace that can pass it all understanding. And so what it be how he bankrupts us and calls us to have a hunger and a thirst for what we're looking for that only God can give us. Oh, revive up in the take the lane. Honey, a great revival in the breakout. Great revival. We just don't know where it's going to break out. Somebody got the revival that's in the bowels of their soul. Somebody got that revival that's going to shake the nation. Somebody got sound in their voice. Somebody got the power of God that's working through them. Come on here. That's going to preach that word that's going to solve the whole nation to come alive. Going to cause men to travel. Grow in need. Uh, to go touch uh, the land of God. Uh, oh, somebody give him a shout. Isolate yourself. 
امر ببعض بتبقى We 
need some understanding. We need some serious understanding. Come on here. And I'm almost finished. The Bible said, amen. She came, amen, to the press behind. And she touched his garment. She touches anointing. She touches, she touches God. Back in the days, the anointing would be up on Peter. Now, they would bring aprons and handkerchiefs to the sick, and they were healed. All right. She touches God. Man. She touched the, 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 the anointing of him. First of all, she went beyond the law. Because if that was a physical, amen, hemorrhage that's going on a flow of blood to touch him, she was unclean. But she would have broke the law for the right thing she needed this time. I'm going to break the law for what, I'm gonna break it for what I need this right time. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm coming out with a victory. She got behind him. And remember, there's a great press all around her. Somebody read for me the next verse. And it says what? Jesus. She touched his clothes. Go ahead. I shall be whole. She said, when I touch his clothes, I'm going to be whole. All right. It's something between that story right there. She heard about this Jesus present. Did she really know this man? Did she have his reputation? In, 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 and well, was she educated of who he was? All right. Was she educated of his power? Was she ed educated of what he had in him? Something had to reveal to her about this man that made her press past the crowd. And I'm going to break the law. I'm going to touch him today, though. I'm going to touch him today. I'm going to touch him today. I'm ready for the consequences and the repercussions, but I'm going to touch him today. Because she said, when I'm going to touch him, what's going to happen? She said, I'm going to touch him and I'm going to be made whole. I'm going to be made whole. The only way you will ever get anything is for you to know you're finna get it. The only time you're going to get a miracle is when you know I'm going to get my miracle. It's when you got miracle in your, in your spirit. When you come for a miracle for real. She came to be made whole for real. That was in her mind. That was in her soul. That was in her spirit. She pressed her and she said, I'm going to touch the hem of his garment. And ain't nobody told her she's going to be made whole. She told her own self, and I'm going to be made whole. Yeah. 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 What you telling you today? How you talking you out of your situation? She done spent all of her money. Now she got her own answers. She done spent all her money and nothing bettered her. If anything, it made it worse. But all of a sudden, she comes into the revelation and comes into the knowledge of what she really needs to take her own life back in control and stop the devil. And I'm like, amen. Oh, one, one word. To, amen. I'm a touch. I'm a touch. Touching all unclean things. This right here that I'm going to touch going to change my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to touch him. I'm going to touch him. Yeah. I'm going to touch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it anybody got all the touch him in you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only am I going to touch him, but I'm going to stop him. Is it anybody going to stop him tonight? Yeah. Baby, you can't help me into the presence of God just for the con. Amen. Like you went the last two days. You, just because I was here two days ago, you feeling like this is the same old service. Call me out now. It's time for me 
decree and decree and decree that said I am a believe. Come up here. I saw on my body. I'm broke. Ain't nobody like me. I'm messed up on the throne of my blood. Ain't got everything wrong with me. Say my mind's not for the throne. And touch him.
but it means that the miraculous have left me. It meant the miracle had left him. She had gotten a, mir um, a miracle right then and there. And here come, amen, here come Master trying to talk to Super. All right now. All right now. Natural trying to talk to Super. Natural, say what you mean. All these people around you, what you mean? Who touched you? Who touched you? Jesus said, wait a minute, child. Somebody touch me. I don't care how many y'all they got around me. Can you imagine people doing this to Jesus? Bumping into him. All these different people. But one touch. Jesus. One touch. Stopped him. One touch. Cause a question. Cause a question to come out of here. One touch. Cause Jesus. Jesus.
And what did he say? And he said, the disciples said unto the Lord, Thou see the multitude throwing, 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 and he said, Thou throwing, throwing, thee, and said, Thou who touch me? Shut up, shut up, boy. You don't even know what you're talking about. See, that's what the world don't know. Yeah, the world, are we trying to operate in the world? Amen. We are of the world. We in the world, but we not of it. We can't operate of the world. We operate of the supernatural. We operate of a power beyond that. We don't operate like that. What you talking about? Come on here. Read, baby. And he looked round about to see her. That had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Yeah. Peace and be whole of thy plan. My God, he delivered us. Of her trial, yes. of her distress, yes. of her issues, yes. of her unresolved matters. He cured her of all that unresolved stuff she had gone up and up. He took that out of her. Yeah. He took that out. He took that bitterness out. Yeah. He took that rage out. He took that anger out. He took that paranoid spirit out. He took that out. He took that sweet rejection out. He took all that out. All the things have to go. Yes. He delivered her yes. of it all. Yes. He delivered her of it all. Yes. Come on. You're going to see God do something for you tonight. Yes. You got to have faith. Faith. Yeah, faith. Yeah, faith. You got to touch him again. We got to touch him in our churches again. Yes. We got to touch him. We got to bring him to every service. We got to have a worship that brings him to every service. Yes. Yes. You gotta have a worship that brings him to every service. Yes, you gotta come with high hopes. Yeah. Yes. And expectations. Yes. I got expectation. Yes. I got expectation. Yes. We gotta have the kind of results that when we pray for people, we see the years to come. Yes. That they they yes. Years and years and years they delivered. Not praying for them tonight and they're back on the crack corner. Mm -hmm. They're on the pipe tomorrow. Yeah. But the kind of power, the kind of anointing, the kind of move of God that's in our lives. Because we believe that we have so much faith and confidence in this God. Yeah. Yeah. That when people even just shake our hands, we so anointed. Yeah. 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 That if you shake my hand, a miracle gonna come to your life. I'm gonna feel you again. I wanna empower you again. I wanna baptize you again. You gotta believe in who you are. Because we are representatives of him in the earth now. He's going yes. back and giving the power to you and I. Yes. You and I got the anointing. You and I serve. You and I do the work now. But we have to be in a place that we sold out. That people's lives can change. That our life can change. That every life that we need God to touch and change in this place tonight. Come on and give God a hand. Glory to God. How many of you came here for a miracle? We just thank God for you. We want to minister to you. Amen. To your needs and your Amen. Praise God. We're going to release the mic. Amen. I'm already finished. Okay, this is what I got to do. And then after that, I'm done. 
Say God bless Amen. the woman of God. Amen. Come, let's give God a hand of praise to her tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe that word, but for so many that was not here, but they can go back and watch it live. And we thank God. I want to make sure that I give recognition. I know my pastor, way in California, New Beginnings Church in California, is watching. And so we want to salute Pastor Williams. I didn't get to do that all week long, but I want to be sure. I thank God for my pastor at New Beginnings Church, California. So if you have way in Oakland, California, stop by New Beginnings Church. Amen. 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 So we want you to join us on next week, starting this Sunday night. And if you don't know, on Wednesday night and on Friday night, Friday night will be our good Friday. And I know many of you may have plans, but on this Wednesday night, um, Prophet, um, Prophet Overseer um, Jeremiah Martin, he was here like, about a few years ago on the outside here in Bill Platt, and he did a revival, and I mean, he just prophesied to everybody that was walking, glory to God, so that is a word, he does not know you, and how do you know when the voice of God is speaking to you, is when God speaks to you, when they know nothing about you, amen, so this Wednesday, he will be here driving all the way from Dallas, amen, and so I tell you, God is going to be in this house, amen. And so I challenge you to come on next Wednesday night. If you ain't came ready throughout the whole week, but next Wednesday, to next Wednesday, there's a word if you believe it. Amen. So we thank God for our to come here today to be with us. Amen. Truly, 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 I believe there are issues, but God is still an issue solver. Lord, God, come on and say, Lord, I thank you that every issue is resolved. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so we have a um, we got a presentation. Amen. From we're going to present to her as she comes back, amen, on behalf of the women of this ministry. Many of us continue to pray for us as we do ministry in this community, amen. And so God told me to come back for the young people, amen, because they have not seen young people do ministry, amen. We've seen the old people, amen, but I believe that God is raising me up to win those that have never seen the gospel preached, glory to God. They have heard the gospel, but they have never seen the gospel, glory to God. And I just want God to move in an unusual way. So, say, well, new beginnings, we have church. This is not a church as normal. I believe that God called me something unusual. Something unusual. Unusual. Have church every day of the week. He, who gonna come? He said, send me, I'll go. <laughs> and so I just believe, so continue to pray for me that as a young person, it's not easy. I could be many other places that the enemy had planned for my life, but I thank God that he chose me to go back to Bill Platt. Glory to God. And so pray for me, pray for my, my body, pray for my strength that I continue to do the will of God in Bill Platt. Amen? And so mother, you can come and we just can, um, we can read our certificate to her and we can present it when she comes in. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Okay, certificate of appreciation. This certificate is proudly presented to Apostle Marie Carey. We appreciate your labor of love. Jesus said, I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day, for the night cometh when no man can work. John 9 and 4. March 31st, 2023. Presented from New Beginnings from Elder Santangelo Wilson, lead pastor, missionary Lizette Jones, lead missionary. Come on, let's give them a cup of praise. We thank God for all our visitors. We thank God for um, Pastor Lanelle being in the house. We thank God for Prophetess being in the house. Come on, let's give God praise for all of you, all our visitors. Thank God for the <laughs> people in the house. And man, we want you to know you're always welcome to visit us at the New Beginnings Church. We believe that there is no place like a place of new beginnings. Amen? So we're going to ask the Apostle to come and close us out. Amen? And I believe that God has something in store for you that eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Remember, Remember that the intensity, the intensity of, the of the struggle is because the magnitude, because of, the magnitude of the breakthrough. Again, we want to remind you on next Wednesday night, if you're not doing anything, be with us next Wednesday night. God bless you.